Hi, this is Krista with Twin Review. As you see, my twin is not with me today. We're having trouble getting our schedule together. So I thought that I would review a product that my sister doesn't have and share that information with you. Uh, why are these dogs sitting with me? You see them beside me? Because I'm about to review a pet vacuum. This one, this is my Maltese Buffy. Hi Buffy. She needs to be green. She does not shed. It's this one over here who sheds a great amount every single day. And so I had to get a pet vac because I just couldn't keep up with it. I typically get vacuums. I spent about $200 on a vacuum and they last about two years. This vacuum that I'm about to show you uh, was less than 100, was 100, a little less or so. And it's lasted me two and a half years and it's pet vac. So let me show you with this. This is the Eureka, it's the Airspeed Exact Pet. And I'm going, what I'm gonna do is vacuum, show you how much it picks up, then show you how you empty it out. I put this together when you get it in. It's very easy to, uh, to assemble, and it's very easy to dump out the trash. So, I'm gonna start with vacuuming. This is empty, as you see. It's time to change the, to clean out the filter and stuff. I'm getting ready to do all that, but I have not done any of that in two and a half years. So, that just goes to show you this is pretty sturdy. For the most part, this has not given me any problems. Um, you may hear it squeak on the carpet a little bit, but, um, but that's, like I said, I, don't, I would expect that for two and a half years. I, if it lasted another six months, I'd be really happy because I, I thought two years and I'd be buying another one. But it's, it's done better than my Hoover. So let me go ahead and get some vacuum in here. And here's the controls. You have a floor control. And then if you use the tools, you can switch it to tools. And I've lived in houses where um, I've had mostly wood and I had to use the tools most of the time. But this house has mainly carpet, so we're going to switch it to that. My daughter is videotaping, so hopefully this will go well. All right, as you, if, as you saw what I vacuumed, it wasn't a whole lot in my house. It definitely wasn't the whole house, but uh, take a look at what it collected in there, if you can see that. And um, if you heard the squeaking, that squeaking noise, that noise just started. At two and a half years, it just started. Keep in mind the first house that I had, I've been in three homes since I've had this vacuum. The first house, had carpet in the bedrooms and tile everywhere else and so I was equally using the tools and the uh, the carpet <clears throat> having it the carpet down the second house was mainly just wood so I used mainly the tools and now I'm on the carpet so that squeaking noise I, I, I probably could have my dad or someone to kind of figure out what's going on but let's say it's messing up again I'm at two and a half years and spending around a hundred dollars I'm good with that I want to show you how to use the tools real quick and how easy it is before I go dump this because I want to show you how to dump it but for the tools you just take this this is pretending like this is a uh, uh, like a crease right there but you'll switch this thing over to tools like that it has good suction <laughs> What Sorry, happened my, there? My dog 
Todd gets the, he watches TV. So he, he loves needs to saw an animal. Yeah. Jake, Jake. Can you cry for a second? The only, the, the, only, just, the only thing that I do not, like, I do not like about this vacuum, excuse me, is the fact that this is short. And so when you're doing like the, the corners and stuff, it's not like you can leave that because once you get so far, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall down. So yeah. I always keep it. And, and it was oh, kind of... Jake, Jake, you're not behaving. But um, it was hard for me because it, in the last house because it, um, it was short and I tried to get under my bed because it was tiles. But yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, if you're getting under the bed, you have to lay it down and get under there and do it. That's how you have to do it. Now this is oh, I want to show you the also the fabric, and I won't do the whole couch, but I did the whole couch two days ago, and it got a lot of stuff. I was really surprised because a lot of times these little gadgets don't do very good you just put it on like that you have it on the tools something else you're going to be interested in I believe is I'm gonna show you the underneath of this vacuum again before I go dump it. Would you take a look at the spinners, the brushes? Now you can see where I need to clean under there, but look at these brushes. There's n there's no hair caught in this. I have never cleaned these brushes in two and a half years. So easy maintenance for me. That's what I love. Huh? Now follow me. I'll show you how to dump it. I might do it outside because obviously I don't like the. The dust i'm actually allergic to all this stuff and okay and we i could have gone probably done the rest of the house at least most of the house i vacuumed two days ago so this isn't to me that bad but uh so i could get the whole house before i'd have to dump it if, if i'm doing it every two days with that dog so I, okay all i do here to open it up is i just open it When it's full, you'll start having stuff come down pretty fast. But you'll see that right here, sometimes I do have to put my hand up here. And I know if y'all don't like that, it's gross. But then... Maybe just get a fork or something stick it up there. Yeah, a stick or something. But you can see where I need to go clean out the filter. That's never been cleaned. So I'll be doing that this weekend to, to clean that. So that's so that's it. This is this is a product that I like. It's, it, whenever it does die, I plan to go buy one. Uh, I got online to check for you guys. I couldn't find the exact one, so I will find something that's very similar for you and link it. I bought this one at Walmart. So if y'all have any comments or anything, let me know if you like the site. I, mean, I, I have definitely a lot of other unbiased reviews. Just uh, subscribe, and I'll see you with the next review.